Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is a video called Visiting Prince Philip in Heaven. And we all know who Prince Philip was, uh, was the Queen's husband uh, that uh, died a few years ago. Well, last year. Um, so I can see uh, a room uh, in the palace uh, that the Queen has moved into and uh, Prince Philip uh, will live with her there. And uh, this room uh, is like a, a room for, for drinks. Uh, it seems like uh, a room uh, with many uh, comfortable uh, uh, sofas, uh, chairs in it. Um, we see on movies uh, with gentlemen's clubs uh, where uh, men sit around uh, drinking port and uh, drinking uh, fine wines and uh, smoking cigars. This is a room like that. It's a room for meetings and it's a room for fellowship with other people. And uh, Prince Philip is uh, there. Uh, showing it to me, and uh, he's got a nice drink in his hands, um, and uh, it's interesting. It's a place where uh, you could uh, have uh, fellowship with people and uh, have an intimate one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussion or have uh, multiple people in the room uh, having coffee or having uh, drinks together. Uh, what do you do in heaven? Well, I'm uh, assisting uh, the Queen and leading uh, the official uh, functions and uh, the official uh, affairs of heaven. Um, uh, so I... Uh, go with the Queen's official engagements and uh, adjudicate them uh, with her and uh, meet the people. And uh, I like uh, what you were saying. It's true uh, in heaven that you can uh, stretch uh, two hours out to uh, two weeks or one hour out to one week of earth time and... Uh, so um, when we uh, go to functions, we can open uh, the restaurant and uh, have the official ceremony and uh, cut the ribbon and uh, do the speech. But outside, uh, the public have arrived because uh, the press up there say where we're going to appear each day and... Uh, so the Queen and I uh, go out and uh, welcome the people and uh, and say hello to the people. And uh, uh, it's very interesting that uh, the Queen uh, and myself are more popular in heaven than they were, than we were on earth. And uh, the crowds are bigger. And uh, even though... Uh, it's like two weeks worth of time uh, elapsed in one hour, even though uh, we shake a lot of hands. Uh, not everyone uh, gets their hands shaken and uh, have a have a selfie uh, taken of them. Uh, we just run out of time. Um, and uh, heaven is aware that uh, they can uh, be a massive crowd 20,000 in a crowd um, and they're aware if they wait long enough uh, they'll be met and um, interesting enough people uh, can wear headphones and uh, and uh, it's like uh, the Queen and I are on like microphones uh, so uh, while people are waiting they can hear the greeting of the people that we're meeting and they can hear what we have to say. So they're just not uh, waiting in line to meet us. They can 
uh, hear every interaction that we have on the headphones. Uh, people can choose not to listen. They can just wait there uh, by themselves. But many people uh, collect some headphones for themselves and uh, they're official headphones for listening to the Queen and I. And all the people who uh, do official functions have, have got uh, their brand of headphones. And uh, so it's uh, something different uh, to Earth. Um, you may uh, have a question provoked by something the Queen has said that day, something uh, we may have said early on in the meet of greet. There may be a subject that came up uh, that uh, sparked the interest to ask a question. And uh, when uh, we get to you, uh, you can ask that question. And if you hadn't have overheard the conversation, you wouldn't have that interesting question for us. So I enjoy uh, meeting people and spending time with people. I've always uh, loved the people. I've always uh, loved the service. And um, I uh, really uh, enjoy uh, the little people of heaven, uh, I call them little people, the ordinary people, the the people that aren't uh, high flyers in heaven. Uh, they're not uh, important dignitaries of heaven. They're not prophets. Uh, they're not uh, writers of the Bible. They're not famous evangelists or famous preachers, but they're just uh, a person who attended church and attended a mid midweek Bible study and didn't uh, really lead many people to uh, Jesus, but uh, just lived their life as a simple Christian. I love those common people, and uh, there's uh, plenty of them in heaven, and I love to interact with them and talk to them and answer their questions. I've, I've always uh, had an interest in people, and uh, and uh, this job certainly allows you to uh, meet uh, many uh, people and interact uh, with many people. Certainly with the time uh, shrinkage, that uh, the time expansion uh, that happens uh, at our meet and greets now, um, I'm able to uh, spend a lot more time with people and meet a whole lot more people. Um, the press uh, interview uh, people uh, and interview selected people each day that uh, the Queen and I uh, spoke to and uh, they comment in the papers uh, about... Um, what they asked the Queen and uh, what her response was. And uh, so there's always uh, running front or second page of the papers, uh, the interactions of the Queen. And uh, there's uh, uh, one difference between heaven's uh, papers and the papers of earth is uh, they're not uh, tabloid papers in heaven. Uh, they're very uplifting and uh, encouraging uh, papers and uh, the press is uh, fabulous and they cover uh, each of our meetings and uh, they give us press. People uh, love to uh, get their daily paper and read uh, the news of heaven um, uh, in their paper. And you may wonder... What's heaven got newspapers for? Well, it's uh, something that uh, allows uh, the people of heaven uh, to be on the same page and read about the goings on of heaven. And uh, so we've got our own uh, press uh, corps that uh, follow us and uh, and uh, do the official functions and cover the official functions. We've got official uh, journalists that uh, cover our stories and we're open to speaking to them and being interviewed by them and 
Uh, all our press is favourable uh, and it certainly makes a change uh, to uh, what happened on earth. And uh, and uh, so in heaven, we're a lot a bigger deal uh, in heaven than uh, what we were on earth. And uh, it's uh, interesting. Matthew, uh, I met you last year. Uh, it's interesting to have your parents uh, assisting us in our duties. And uh, the Queen was right. Uh, a couple of times a week, uh, we go along and watch your parents uh, fulfill their duties and they're doing a really good job and uh, you'd be very proud of them. I, um, I, I also uh, read a lot and uh, have written a number of books since I've been in heaven, and uh, I enjoy um, going to Sir Winston Churchill's library picking a book off and having a cup of tea and uh, reading the first chapter while I'm there, uh, having uh, a slice of cake and enjoying myself there. Um, but uh, there's not a lot of time for relaxation in heaven. I'm busy. Uh, so next question is, uh, what do you like about heaven? Like Earth, uh, similar to Earth, I really enjoy people. I just, I just have such a love uh, for the common person, and uh, it's really uh, fascinating to me uh, to meet that woman baker who's grown up and uh, uh, decided to to be a baker in heaven, has trained to be a baker has worked in bakeries there and uh, progressed in, in her knowledge. And then she's finally reached a stage where she wants to open her own bakery and cafe and uh, to actually meet her and talk to her and listen to her story and listen to her plans for the bakery and look at her menu and uh, look at her wares and look at uh, what she's cooked and taste uh, what she's cooked and have a cup of tea and a scone or a cup of tea or, or a pastry uh, that she's cooked. And I didn't have a scone and a pastry yesterday. I just had a scone uh, with jam and cream. And uh, and uh, in America, you call that uh, jelly and cream. Um, so I enjoyed... Uh, that and I enjoy meeting uh, the little people and uh, the contemporary people, the ordinary people, the um, the people of no consequence. But when they uh, start their own business in heaven, they become a person of consequence and uh, they make a difference in heaven. And heaven's always expanding and uh, there's uh, many suburbs uh, to the city of heaven, the cities in heaven, and uh, we travel all over the place. Sometimes uh, we uh, travel in a car, an official car. Sometimes uh, we just leave the palace and uh, and appear there uh, without a car. Um, and uh, depending on where we're going, how far it is to go, um, I enjoy... Uh, like uh, nearly every saint has said uh, in this series of books, I enjoy the restaurants of heaven. The food is just uh, spectacular. And uh, I enjoy meeting with friends and meeting uh, with um, people over meals in heaven. Um, one of the best things about eating out in heaven is the company you keep. And uh, you can really develop a close relationship with a person by having enough meals with them. And uh, we, me, myself and the Queen 
have uh, enough uh, people to entertain us with uh, with uh, being out for dinner uh, with your parents, Matthew, and uh, got to know Bob and heard some of his fishing stories, and uh, and uh, he's uh, a likable chap, and uh, he's uh, training uh, to become a prophet. And uh, he's very interesting with uh, his understanding of the future of America. He wrote a book on that, and uh, that was uh, fascinating uh, to read. Uh, I read that book, and uh, it's very interesting. It's part of the reason uh, we selected him to help us. Uh, he's got an understanding of uh, politics. He's got an understanding of uh, the future of the world. And... Uh, but the Holy Spirit also nudged us when the Queen came here to take him on as staff. Uh, so I enjoy, I enjoy the Holy Spirit. I enjoy uh, how the Holy Spirit uh, organizes uh, heaven and how he uh, works with people's free will in heaven and how he directs people. Um, I enjoy uh, being directed by the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit working with our uh, secretaries and booking us in uh, for certain uh, interviews and certain things uh, that the Holy Spirit wants to see accomplished. Um, so it's interesting that a journalist may get a story idea from the Holy Spirit or an angel um, and then follow up with that idea of booking uh, an interview time and stuff. And instead of things being run by the flesh or run to uh, sell papers, instead of writing uh, headlines to attract readers rather than writing headlines based on what the Holy Spirit wants, uh, things are different here. And um, Holy Spirit is a part of that. And uh, I want to uh, give him uh, due uh, recognition uh, of uh, who he is. And, of course, uh, I really enjoy uh, meeting up with Jesus uh, for two hours a week. And like you understand, two hours can mean two weeks and uh, you can discuss a lot. And me and the Queen spend time together with Jesus, our two hours together, and we have similar questions and inter interests that are similar. And uh, we spend our uh, two weeks with the Lord, which is two hours uh, together, uh, discussing the things of the Lord. The Queen has a really uh, deep uh, relationship with Jesus, and she asks some good questions. And uh, Jesus is always uh, there to provide uh, sustaining and amazing answers. Um, and uh, I enjoy uh, Jesus. I enjoy the people. I enjoy the friends. I enjoy the restaurants. I enjoy my time in heaven. I enjoy learning in heaven. That's another thing I enjoy. Um, there's uh, so many libraries in heaven. There's so many videos. Uh, we've got a similar uh, platform like YouTube on in heaven. We've got a lot of uh, uh, content creators in heaven. And uh, there's podcasts in heaven, uh, there's writers in heaven, there's books in heaven, there's journals in heaven. Uh, you can subscribe to different journals and read what's going on in different fields in heaven. People submit papers to journals and uh, that can be interesting for people who have got specialist understandings of things. I enjoy um, the freedom uh, to uh, do what you're created to do. And I really enjoy uh, meeting the people of heaven and 
I, I especially was surprised with the time expansion in heaven and how that just adds another dimension uh, to our lives. We're able to answer so many uh, more questions of people and meet so many more people. And that was always a concern of mine on earth uh, that people used to come out uh, to meet us, but uh, didn't have much of an opportunity to actually meet us. They they saw us and waved to us, but never got the opportunity to shake our hand and have a conversation. And uh, that concern has been erased in heaven because uh, people turn out to see us and uh, they get the opportunity to speak to us. And I really enjoy that about heaven. That's uh, just a magical thing uh, the Holy Spirit has arranged in heaven. What's your message for us? I want to continue on uh, where the Queen, uh, what, what my wife had to say. Um, it's important for you uh, to discover your destiny. Uh, Matthew has a service on his website called a uh, prophetic destiny blueprint and uh, it uh, lists uh, nine spiritual things that uh, you were created to do or perform and uh, you can order that service uh, from going to his website or uh, in the ebook uh, you can go to the link in the ebook that we'll put down below um, I encourage you to uh, uh, save up and uh, pay for that service and find the spiritual reasons why Jesus has got you on earth. Um, I haven't known uh, having a life where I didn't live with purpose. I, I always had a purpose in my life uh, when I was in the Navy and then I went on uh, to become uh, the Queen's husband and uh, start my official duties uh, for England. But I've met many people and spoken to many people who live a purposeless life and it's not something that anyone uh, should live. And uh, so I encourage you to... Uh, find books, uh, uh, Finding Your Purpose in Christ is a good book uh, by Matthew to start, but uh, I'd encourage you to seek out prophets and uh, find your purpose so that uh, you can uh, perform that um, and you'll be happy and you'll be enriched uh, by living your purpose. What's the use of... Uh, having a life that was planned for you by Jesus and not knowing that plan, not understanding your purpose. And so I encourage you to find out what you're here for. And it's often found in your giftings. It's often found if you answer the question, uh, what would you do if you won $20 million and money wasn't important to you anymore and you didn't have to work for a living? What would you do with your life if you had that much money? Would you study uh, to become an actor? Would you try and be an actor? Would you go off and become a chef? Uh, would you uh, become a florist? Uh, what would you do with your life if you never had to work again? And uh, if you can answer that question, that's probably what you should be doing. But I encourage you to read uh, Matthew's book, Finding Your Purpose in Christ, and uh, it's available on his free website, and the free website is matthewrobertpain.com. I encourage you to draw into intimacy with Jesus, and uh, that's been discussed so far in this book, and uh, I encourage everyone uh, to draw close. I had a close uh, relationship with Jesus, uh, not as 
close as some people um and uh i never realized uh, that you could be as close to Jesus as Matthew is. And uh, I've watched his life uh, since I've been in heaven. And he's got uh, truly a remarkable and supernatural life. And uh, if I only knew that was possible, many people don't live a tremendously intimate uh, life with Jesus uh, simply because they don't know it's possible um, and uh, they don't know how to do it. Um, so they they not only don't know it's possible, they just don't know how to achieve it. Um, and uh, Matthew's got uh, many books uh, that will lead you uh, into a closer relationship with Jesus. Uh, one of the main things you can do is understand uh, what Jesus taught and understand uh, what uh he was teaching and what he was all about and if you can understand uh and obey him and uh live a life of obedience uh to him and obedience to the scriptures then your life will be a better life and a more fulfilled life matthew's got uh plenty of books and uh over half of his books are free on the website matthewrobertpain.com and uh, you can read them for free there. Um, I don't uh, promote uh, Matthew uh, for the sake of uh, him uh, getting sales. Uh, he's uh, currently, uh, all his books that he's producing currently are free in the United States. And uh, it's going to continue in that way uh, as far as uh, Matthew's concerned. So he's... He's got no vested interest in me speaking about his books uh, to make money, but it's simply because uh, he writes on uh, the life of Jesus and living an intimate uh, life with Jesus, and many of his books will lead you uh, to intimacy with Jesus. Um, and uh, I uh, strongly encourage people uh, to get a diet of his books into them. So find out uh, what your purpose is. Find out uh, why you're here and uh, do everything you can uh, to live that purpose and uh, live out uh, your meaning for life. And I encourage you also to learn what uh, Jesus taught and uh, put that into practice with your life. Uh, start to live an obedient and holy life. Come out of uh, serving the world. Uh, find out uh, what God's purpose for your life is and uh, pursue that with your money and your time and uh, put away what the world thinks that you should do and put away from your thoughts what's expected of you and uh, uh, tune into what's expected to you from Christ. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed uh, this interview and uh, I encourage you to um, continue on uh, reading uh, the series of books about heaven. Uh, God bless you.